Okay, so the first job is to sort out and add Tagger's names to this board, which is ever growing. It's now the Tagger's wall. I've not given you an update since I went from the uh, white clean boards, dry white boards, that's the name of them. I've now moved over to this whole wall and I want to get it all full with average golfers who've got handicap targets and goals for this season 2018. As you can see, lots of names coming in. Frankie, first girl, her target was to get a handicap. Another girl followed with a young lady, Becky O'Grady, 3.9 currently down to 3.3. That's the only two women that we have on the board, so more girls, more female golfers I want to see. But just keep them coming in. The only two differences I've made so far in terms of handicap adjustments is Stephen Holiday, 11.728. Rob McGar 5.1, I think he was at sort of 6s so or 5.5 and he's trying to get down to scratch. But there's a whole host of names that have been added from all over the world which is fantastic and the idea is we just keep on encouraging each other when you stand on that tee, maybe just subconsciously in the back of your mind you've got the Taggers target board there to drive you on and to help just focus that mind on the back nine when you've got a chance to make that handicap improvement. So keep on sending them in. So just as a reminder, all I need, name, current handicap, and target for 2018. And there's gonna be some prizes given away at the end of it all. Okay, so this week started off as ever at Four Golf in Chester. Every Monday morning starts there. And I started doing the usual product testing. And this week it was the Callaway XR Driver, new release from Callaway, we spoke about this a few weeks ago. Finally hit that this morning. That video will have either been out in the past 24 hours or certainly round about now, depending on when this one goes out. And then it also took an interesting look at what I call a power bat in terms of irons. So two seven irons from the strongest clubs out there in the G700 from Ping and the M4 from TaylorMade. So once again, two videos shot there that are really, really interesting and well worth a watch. And as I say, they'll be around and about this week uh, on the YouTube channel. So keep an eye out for those. But I want to go back to last week. And um, I started early on last week with a game of match play up at North of Country Park. And this is what happened. I'm at uh, Norfolk Golf Club and I'm about to play a pairs knockout match. It's um, a regional county thing. Playing it every year. And okay the last few years with the same partner, uh, Jason Barron. And hopefully we'll have another good run. But I must admit, Monday's not the best day to play golf, I don't think. I've been at four golf recording this morning. And I'm a little bit lethargic. Don't want to start making excuses. I need to get a bit of positivity. Don't forget, I thought it was playing well last week. So come on and liven yourself up and let's get going. Right, before I move out of the car, first question that springs to mind. How do you get motivated for competitions? What gets you right now? What would you be doing? I'm struggling, like I said, thinking, oh, you know, one of them can't be bothered. It's late in the afternoon. It's not the nicest of days, but I'm playing golf. I could be working. How do you get yourself motivated? That's the first question of today's vlog. Right back where it all started uh, about four hours ago. Uh, 18 holes are done. Bit of a weird competition, this one. It's uh, it's mat. Oh, it's not match play. It's a knockout format, better ball, but they play it as uh, stable for points, which is, I don't know, I still can't get my head around it, but that's the way it is. So what you do, you end up playing your 18 holes, no matter how much of a lead you've got, you keep on playing for 18 holes, which is a bit daft for me. But good news to report is we had a cracking... Uh, knock there. I don't know what the other team finished up on, but we beat them without being, yeah, we beat them fairly easy because we had 45 points, which was unreal. We had uh, 19 on the front and, would you believe, 26 points on the way back, which is a bit of a score to say the least. So, happy with that. And a quick pint, time to go home and uh, we'll carry on with this chat tomorrow. So, as you can see there, decent start to the week. It was nice to get that win and uh, carried on on Thursday. Played in Thursday's um, weekly roll-up at Hessel and don't forget I had a decent round the week previous this time it was over 18 holes it was still unfortunately non-qualifying due to the fact that it was uh, pick and clean but we did play 18 holes and I managed to knock up 37 points which I was really pleased with at the same time disappointed because um, after 12 holes and remember it's a 12 hole comp the week before I had one more point than the previous week and I'd won the previous week. So it was actually a point better than what I'd done the week before over 12 holes. And I then just faltered a little bit on the last six. Could be down to a little bit of fatigue, getting on, it was sort of half seven at night by the time we'd come off, I don't know. I also play a lot of 12 hole golf 
uh, during the winter months because it finishes near our uh, car park. And again, I think I need to up my fitness level and play a few more rounds of 18 holes. Now that's my golf done with for last week. I didn't play at the weekend, but I did watch a little bit of world golf. And this is the question I have for you is that I switched off fairly quickly. And that's due to the fact none of the big name players were really involved in any of the tournaments. And I can't just watch the lesser players, I suppose. And the big names, the big players are definitely the draw for me. And, uh, and the big tournaments as well, I suppose. So I struggle to watch golf under any circumstances other than major competitions um, and the big tournaments, I suppose, and where the top players of the world are involved. And what about you? Is that something that you struggle with? Will you watch literally any golf that's on the telly? Or do you have, has it gotta be you like me? Have you gotta have the majors? Have the big players gotta be there? Because otherwise for me, this is where with the lesser tournaments, if I call them that, there needs to be something, a little bit of razzmatazz around the events to just get people switched on to see something a little bit different that's going on. Razzmatazz was maybe the wrong word, but you get the idea. Now I probably mentioned last week that the sun was shining in the UK and it was a little bit, well it certainly went to my head, made me perhaps a little bit delirious and for some reason I ended up filming this video. I know it's a tough watch, but I promise you, you will never ever see me in that blonde wig and cap ever again. And in many ways, the week went from bad to worse in terms of the publicity we were receiving because even Sergio Garcia decided to take his frustrations out on the average golfer when he struggled with recent performances with the Callaway Rogue Driver. So if you enjoyed those videos, I like to add a little bit of humour where possible into these videos. It can be a little bit mundane just eating golf products all day long. They're not everybody's cup of tea, but I enjoy making them every now and again. And I hope you have a little bit of a laugh at my expense. The main uh, sort of mention in that video is Randy at Fried Eggs. And I did say at the end of the video, he has got a album of uh, brilliant rap videos that he writes that are golf related and uh, it's just released that album on iTunes, which is absolutely fantastic. So get over there, support Fried Eggs Golf. Go and check out the channel if you haven't already. It gives me plenty of shout outs and most people that watch this channel are already aware of who he is, so I can never really give him much of a helping hand. But if, for whatever reason, you've not seen Fried Eggs Golf, then get over there, check out his channel, get onto iTunes and buy that album. Okay, now no doubt you've been asking yourself, what is that fool changing the color of his hoodie each time we change camera angle? The answer is simple. Uh, if you've been there already, you'll know that the uh, averagegolfer.com website sells a little bit of merchandise like these caps, hats, some polo shirts, and it's done quite well to be fair. And I really thank everybody who supported uh, that so far. So we've decided to add just a couple of products and we've added these hoodies, which is available in five colors, really nice quality. We've also added a lightweight gilet, which is again, really nice quality, perfect for either on the course or maybe at the driving range or in the pub even. They're really nice garments, do like them. But the bit that I wanna add at the moment is for your support right now, there's a little bit of a bonus code that you can add at checkout, which is AVERAGE10. Quote that code at the checkout and you'll get 10% off your full order. And we ship worldwide, as we have done already. Plenty of support from all over the place. And like I said, really do appreciate that. Anyway, that's me finished for this week. Don't forget, uh, thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you don't already. If you do subscribe, I'm told that you need to start hitting the notifications bell, which will give you alerts each time we uh, post a video. And that's mega important because apparently that's dropped off quite a lot of the uh, YouTube, people who are subscribing to YouTube, bit of an issue that they've got going on. So just check out that you've got that notification bell highlighted. 
Other than that, enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you soon. Don't forget, plenty of videos posted this week.